Warning. The following video contains opinions. If you do not like opinions and are not open-minded, please call the opinion hotline at 1-800-FUCK-YOU. Please enjoy the video. Thank you. We have had Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for over a year now, guys. And I think it's safe to say that the next game is going to be something similar to Pokemon Z, whether it's Pokemon Z, Pokemon X2, Pokemon Y2, or whatever. And yeah, so I'm super hyped for this new game that we'll hopefully be getting maybe sometime this summer or next year. Um, but when you think about it, what does each new Pokemon game introduce uh, ever since Pokemon X and Y? And that's going to be new Megas. So today, guys, I'd like to run you down through the top 10 Megas, plus some other mentions uh, that I think we're going to be getting in quote-unquote Pokemon Z. Now, I have to warn you guys, of course, this is my opinion, yada, 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 you know the deal. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's just jump straight into this top 10. First top 10 on the channel. Let's go, boys. We got some hype on the news, bitch. Now, there's only two Megas I do not want to see in this game, and that would be Mega Charizard Z and Mega Mewtwo Z. Now, I know what you're thinking. Charizard and Mewtwo, they're like the most popular Pokemon ever, but they each already have two Megas. They've had their time to shine. Like, yeah, come on, let's chill. Like, yes, we all know they're great Pokemon, and this fan artwork is like straight up amazing and whatnot. But, but a Pokemon doesn't need three Megas. I think it's a bit over excessive. Actually, no, not a bit over excessive. Like, super over excessive. So I definitely don't think, and really, really, really don't want Mega Charizard Z and Mega Mewtwo Z to come for the next game. Now, when it comes to a popularity contest of which Megas are most wanted, right before Oros, this one was the most requested, and it didn't happen, and guys, of course, that's going to be Mega Flygon. Now, Mega Flygon would be higher up on the list if we didn't get, like, a billion or, uh, uh, Gen 3 Pokemon Megas in Oros, so I think we're going to start to get gradually less Gen 3 Pokemon as Megas, uh, at least for this game. So... I still really want Mega Flygon, I still think it's a pretty good possibility, uh, but at the same time, I think the Pokemon above it have a good possibility. I think it'd be really cool to have, like, a Bug Dragon type, which, like, you know, unique typing and everything, uh, could get some cool moves. I know its move pool isn't the best, and that's why it needs a Mega, you know, to improve its stats, so I think it'd be a really cool Mega, though I'm not sure 100% if it will happen right, right now. Hopping right into number 9, guys. We have none other than Mega Luxray. Now, Mega Luxray is another one that was very highly requested in the past, but we did not get it in Oros. Now, I think there's a pretty, pretty good chance uh, that Mega Luxray will come in this game, but um, I don't really want it as much as I want the other one, so that's why it's this high up on the list. Um, it'd be really cool, for one, if it got Strong Jaw, because it gets a lot of Fang moves. I think it gets Ice Fang, Fire Fang. I know for a fact it gets Thunder Fang. So Strong Jaw would be super awesome on it. Uh, not to mention that it could get a, a new type change, being uh, Electric Dark. Now, as you guys can see from the fan fan art of this thing, it would just look straight up amazing. Uh, Luxray's not even a good Pokemon, really, in competitive battling. It's good in NU, I guess, but it's not good in other tiers. Um, so it should, like, stat boost, make it fast. If it's fast, this thing will destroy... Um, give, make a new, make, give it more moves. I mean, not really, can't really do that, but like, Wild Charge is basically all it has at this point. Wild, cha wild Charge and like, Thunder Fang. Um, but yeah, I really hope to see Mega Luxray, uh, come. Soaring in for number 8, guys, we have none other than Mega Mew. Now, something just gives me the feeling that Mew is finally going to be relevant again in this game. So I think it'd be really cool if they put it into the storyline and give it a Mega Evolution. Now, this is a little bit far-fetched, Pokemon's huh? But, um, I don't know. I just think that it'd be really cool. Uh, I'd probably be, you know, same, like, stats as, well, like, somewhere similar to Mewtwo. Uh, so it'd probably be really, really powerful. And yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about Mega Mew. Stay the same type. Maybe it'd get Fairy-type. Fairy-type I could see on it. Um, maybe get like a new signature move or something super cool. Uh, but yeah, Mew's so adorable, like, you can't help, like, putting it. I, I just, like, it had to be on my list just because of, like, the adorableness factor.
Gliding into number seven, guys, we have none other than the fan favorite pseudo legendary Dragonite. Now, guys, Dragonite has been a fan favorite Pokemon since the first generation when it was introduced uh, as the first pseudo legendary uh, and the first Dragon type as well. Well, third stage and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, Dragon is a fantastic Pokemon, a great design, a uh, great concept. It's super adorable, yeah, at the same time, it's super menacing. Uh, it's really good in competitive battling. And, uh, you know, other pseudo-legendaries are getting Megas, like Metagross, uh, Tyranitar, Salamence. And uh, I think that it's time for Dragonite to get his own Mega. Uh, Dragonite's, like, probably, probably, like, one of the favorite Gen 1 Pokemons, I would assume. Uh, it is a dragon, it does look super cool. So yeah, I'm really hoping to see a Mega Dragonite, uh, be introduced, uh, in this game. Representing number six, guys, we have none other than Typhlosion, the fire starter from Generation 2, uh, Johto. And yeah, Typhlosion is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, it has a really cool design. It's Cyndaquil is my second favorite Pokemon of all time, so like, you know. Uh, and Typhlosion just looks really cool. Uh, unfortunately, Gen 6 doesn't look as cool with like the whole fire not coming out of its back all the time. But, uh, you know, that's that's that. Uh, but yeah, Typhlosion's really cool. Has not the greatest move pool, um, but it's still pretty cool. It has decent stats. It's decent and competitive. I believe it's BL3, I think. So you use it in RU, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I could definitely use a stat boost to maybe make it faster and hit a little bit harder. I think that'd be really awesome uh, to see Typhlosion as a better competitive Pokemon. Maybe have it be an UU or OU even. Uh, I'd really like to see that because I really do like Typhlosion a lot. He has a great design, a great Pokemon, pretty cool shiny too, like let's be honest. And uh, yeah. Fluttering its way into the number 5 spot, we have a little bit of a weird pick, we have Butterfree. Now, I really think Butterfree should get a Mega. Since Generation 1, who did you guys like better? Butterfree or Beedrill? No one really used Beedrill. Butterfree got Confusion, and like, Ash had his Butterfree, like, everyone loved Butterfree. Uh, so I think, you know, if Beedrill gets a Mega in a Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, then I think, then I think Butterfree should get one too. Maybe make it a Bug, Psychic type, I don't know. Something really cool, I just really like Butterfree as a Pokemon, and it's really bad. Like, it is has no competitive use. I believe it's in PU, that's how shitty it is, guys, but... With a little bit of stat boost, maybe some additional moves into the move pool, it can become a lot better, maybe a little bit fiercer, maybe a type change. Uh, yeah, I think Butterfree should definitely get a Mega. Um, it's just a very lovable Pokemon, it just makes it, you know, really nicer. Swimming its way into number four, guys, we have the Queen to Gyarados, we have Milotic. Now, Milotic was another Mega that a lot of people thought we were going to be getting in a Mega Ruby after Sapphire, um, but we didn't, and I think it has a pretty good chance uh, this game. Milotic's a really cool Pokemon, a really good competitive Pokemon, it's really bulky, uh, and I think its Mega Evolution could expand on that a lot, making it, like, super bulky. Um, it's really good defensively and special defensively, however you want to run it. Uh, you can give it leftovers, but obviously with the Mega Stone, you're not going to be able to do that. Uh, but it can get some really cool abilities. Maybe Shed Skin might be kind of cool, because it is kind of a snake. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a really cool Pokemon. There's a lot of cool ideas and concepts for it. Uh, a lot of potential it has to be a very good combat Pokemon. I assume it would be, uh, be going into OU, I uh, assume, uh, since it is you know, already in UU, and the Mega would make it even more bulkier, and yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's why I think Mega Milotic should be in it. Also, it's like, it's just a cool Pokemon. Like, who doesn't like Milotic, you know? Milotic's just like, it looks all friendly and nice. Yeah. We're getting all the way down to the list, guys. Coming in at the number three spot, we have Staraptor. Now, I know you guys know Staraptor. I know you guys know the fantastic design of Staraptor. And how it's a fantastic Pokemon competitive battling. It gets amazing moves such as Close Combat, Double Edge, Brave Bird, and I just think if this thing got a Mega Evolution, it would destroy in battles. It's such a cool Pokemon that everyone loves. Name one person that doesn't like Staraptor. I dare you. You can't. Staraptor is the bird Pokemon, like, you know, starting off bird Pokemon from uh, Generation 4 in Sinnoh. And it is just fantastic. It has a cool, like, imagine its Mega's design. Like, how much they could do to, to make it so awesome. I'm just super excited, and uh, I'm really hoping that we actually do get a Mega Staraptor. Staraptor's one of my favorite Pokemon. I even named my uh, NPA team Dallas Staraptor. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I definitely really want to see Star After Gun Mega. At the number two spot, guys, we might have the only Pokemon that's been overshadowed by its little brother its entire life. 
and that's gonna be Raichu. So I think Raichu should definitely get a Mega Evolution. Uh, it really deserves it because you know everyone's like, oh look, it's Pikachu, the mascot. Like no one gives Raichu the time of day. You know how cool the Pokemon Raichu is? Look at its design. It's so cute and cuddly. I love it. It's amazing. I just want Raichu to finally be a little bit more relevant again. Um, and maybe be more relevant than Pikachu for once. You know, fuck you, Pikachu. We don't need you. Okay? Um, Raichu's been popular since, you know, Kanto, since it was first introduced. But, again, it hasn't been getting as much attention as Pikachu. And that's the main reason why I wanted to get a Mega personally. Um, also, it's a cool Pokemon, you know. Uh, it's not the greatest competitively wise, but it gets some cool moves like Nuzzle and uh, Volt Switch, which are, you know, really useful and competitive. I mean, if you get it uh, a little bit more speed... Uh, and a little bit more special attack, it, beca it can become a threat, you know? It could become a really cool Pokemon, and uh, I'd love to see it be uh, used a little bit more competitively, and I'd love to see what they can do with the design to make a really cool Mega for Raichu, because I, I really do love Raichu a lot. I use it in a lot of my Let's Plays. And yeah, Raichu's just uh, overall kind of a gangster. It's been a hell of a journey, guys, but we did finally make it to the number one spot and sitting here at the number one spot guys we have Mega Glyscore now guys I love Glyscore personally it's a Pokemon from Sinnoh uh, it's the evolved form of Gligar another fantastic competitive Pokemon and I, I just love everything about Glyscore it's design it's typing is cool who doesn't love ground flying type it's just awesome um, and I don't know I just think it could get some really cool things maybe give it strong jaw I know it gets some of the fang moves I'm pretty sure it gets ice fang poison fang Stuff like that. Uh, maybe give it sheer force. And just the design. Just think about the design. It's It could be like some super vampire Pokemon. And I'm just super excited to see what they can do with it. And I don't know. I'm just really hoping that we see a Mega Glyscore more than any other Pokemon out there. Um, and they can maybe change up the stats a little. Instead of making it you know super defensive like it is already. Maybe they can make it super offensive. And you know, give it a lot of attack. And a little bit more speed. And uh, just go from there and see how much it can destroy in competitive battling. Not to mention, it has the greatest shiny. I straight up love shiny glass work. Um, I spent 2,274 motherfucking eggs trying to get that shit. But it was worth it, because, you know, I got myself a shiny glass work. And it had perfect items. And I just I just love glass work. I don't know I don't know what else to say. Glass is a fantastic Pokemon. You know, Ash had his glass work in the anime, so it's a very lovable Pokemon too. Uh, nostalgic to some people who watch the anime, such as myself. And yeah, guys, a glass is a really cool Pokemon. I love it. It's typing, it's design, uh, and I just want to see it, like, Glyscorite. Like, do you know how cool that sounds? Glyscorite. I just want to make Glyscore, guys, and I hope you do, too. Alright, guys, so that was my first top 10 ever. I hope you all enjoyed. I know I had a lot of fun making it. And, uh, remember to leave your comments on what Megas you want to see in, uh, the next game. Uh, because I would love to see, uh, what you think. Remember, guys, this was only my opinion. Um, but yeah, remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not already, guys. Leave a like or a comment. Love seeing all that. Uh, your interaction means a lot to me, guys. I love you all a lot. And, uh, all the art credit goes to the DeviantArt. Uh, the people on DeviantArt, I titled, I put their names, uh, on the pictures. And, yeah. So here we go, guys. Like, subscribe, leave a like. I'd be that like button. Peace the fuck out, guys. I'm out.